screens here tonight at Stegman Coliseum as we continue with the competition between number eight, Michigan, number four, Georgia. They'll feature a couple of seniors in the middle of the lineup, including Karina Sr., who came off a rough outing last time out. Coach Bev Plocky says she's been working hard in the gym this week, and that's a good sign. I think sometimes for her it's a good thing occasionally to, um, to go out and not not do so well because it's a, a very good reminder to her that her work ethic in the gym is very important and what she does on a daily basis counts for something at the end of the week and um, I've seen an increased level of intensity with her uh, I know she doesn't want to do that again and and she knows this is a big meet and um, I, I don't think that we'll see that same performance from her tonight Karina senior getting on the vault Suclao full scored out of a 10. That is one of the most difficult vaults that you can do. Very nice job, just a slight pipe down on the landing. And a 9.9 .9 for That gets Bev Plocky pretty happy. Didn't quite rock it off the horse the same way that Marlene Stevens did on this vault, but it is so difficult. The lineup for the Gym Dogs on the uneven parallel bars will start with Aileen Diaz back in the lineup after a couple of weeks off. They'll finish up with Kathleen Shreve, but we're going to watch Christy Litchie. You can see her thinking about her one and a half pirouette right there. She struggled with that this year. Her skill right here, one and a half, very nicely done. But the routine's not over yet. She still has a few more big skills planned. Right here, her major release move. Oh, oh too far. Coach was right there to spot her. He never got a chance to, uh, to get close. She went right on her toes, hands and knees, under the lower bar. And Christy Litchie is going to get a major deduction for that. And so much for the individual all-around, you would think, here tonight. 5 tenths deduction there. Suzanne can't believe it. Jay helps her back up onto the bar. She must continue her routine. Make the best of it here. Just the dismount, double layout, and a hop. She's off her game. Well, you can see the disappointment on the face of Christy Litchie, even though the rest of her team comes over to congratulate her. She is fully aware at a 9.35 of just what an impact that will have, not only on the team score, but on her chances for the individual all-around title here tonight. She got the giant one and a half out of the way. Very nicely done, but simply too far on this release element. It's called a ginger. Take a look, her hands hit the bar. Too much momentum down. She's unable to hold on and continue her swing out. Same move we saw Bridget Canavely hit a while ago. Now we come to Janessa Greco, All-American on the full apparatus. And that's what we're gonna see her on right now. She had a swollen ankle and actually had a blow-up cast on there to keep the swelling down. She took it off, said, I'm ready to go. <laughs> Very nice handspring front pike with a half, scored out of a 10. There will be a few form deductions there. 9.875, nevertheless, a very good score. Vanessa, one of those athletes that has that great work ethic in the gym that we heard Beverly Plocky speak about. Here's another look at her ball. The pie cast, same as Christy Litchie did. But she has a slight knee bend right there to create rotation, but a stuck landing. Chalking up, and she's going to have to step into the spotlight here with Christy Litchie's fall on the uneven parallel bars. Fritzinger also competing in the all-around, and she is now a contender. Corey's a very intense competitor and a very nice swinger on this event, opening up with the reverse heck. Back up, rise. Take a look at this combination work. Front giant, Healy into Eagle Giants. Half out, bail to handstand, right on. Corey Fritzinger on the uneven parallel bars. You can hear a buzz in the crowd. Big dismount planned, Eagle Giants. Double front, half out, and she nails it. And the crowd comes alive for Corey Fritzinger. Yeah, they want the tens up there, and it could be close to that. Not many mistakes at all in that bar routine. Outstanding. 9.975 for Corey Fritzinger. Yes, she is a contender. You can tell when 
Corey's on. She swings very smoothly. There was no muscling in this routine. Up rise right to handstand. Here comes her major release move right here. It's called a Takachi. Sits, sits up very nicely. Plenty of swing out of it. Big routine out of Corey Fritzinger as we go to the Wolverines on their vault with a vault specialist, Christine Michaud, one of their tri-captains, along with Bridget Knabley and Jody Rosenberg. Also performing that Souk Lale full beautiful distance way down the mat. Big vault means a big score. And a 9.875, a big score indeed for Beverly Plocky and the rest of the Wolverines who are out in front of this competition. Look at this, 49.25 on the vault for Michigan, and that is big. Georgia now on the uneven parallel bars. We're going to see Kathleen Shreves. Very focused before this bar team, giving herself a few last pointers. Trying to remember the corrections that she's been reinforcing in practice all week long. Hop full, reverse heck. Straddle back in handstand. That's the way it's done. Suzanne walking over towards the other end of the bars. To help Kathleen get pumped up for her dismount. The big one pulling back out, and she hits the landing. That's exactly what they need right now. Corey Fritzinger was a tough act to follow, but Kathleen Shreves is getting some tens out of the crowd, too. They want it. Let's see if the judges give it to her. As the rest of the team congratulates her for a 9.950. And Christy Litchie, one of the first over there, she knows that somebody's got to step up in a little hole that she left for him with her fall off the bars. Here's Kathleen. Georgia did do a great job in stepping it up, and especially Kathleen here. She has struggled a little bit this year. Hopful, reverse hacked, very nice combination. But a 49.000 for Georgia means that Michigan is going to extend its lead after two rotations. And we are starting to think about a possible upset in the making. Point five seven five the difference.